Hello, good morning, or good evening, whenever you are watching this. I hope you are doing well. My name is Catherine, and today we're talking about the books I bought when I was sad. Yep. So I have a little bit of a problem. When I get sad, I go to the bookstore, and then I buy books. Lucky for me, there are actually quite a few used bookstores around me, so like the majority of these books that I'm about to go through were used. There's a couple in here that I did buy new. I currently have, let's see here, one, about 24 books, I think, um, that I bought. Um, so like not the worst. I figured I'd do a little bit of a book haul. I don't think these are all the books I bought, but I kind of stopped keeping track which is another problem. So that this video isn't like super depressing, um, I'm actually going to start off with some of the books that I received for my birthday two months ago. Oh my god, oh it's been a while. But I, a couple of my friends were so kind and sent me books for my birthday. First of all, one of my IRL friends, Jenna, she gave me this book, Binti, which is, I think they're three novellas. And it's like a sci-fi, I believe. Yeah, it's a sci-fi, it sounds really cool. Cool, and it's like three books in one which I dig and this cover is just absolutely gorgeous so thank you for that I also got from Mo and Christine from the Rumi's Digest two books they sent me A Touch of Darkness by Scarlett St. Clair and The Hating Game by Sally Thorne both of these books are books that I have been wanting to read for a very long time. Um, I love A Good Enemies to Lovers. This is a Hades and Persephone mythology retelling, which I love. I'm so excited to read these sometime very soon. And of course, Katie from Katie Can't Read got me Red, White, and Royal Blue. I've already read this book twice, but I've read it via audiobook, and so I'm excited to finally, like, go through and read it physically, and I'll might annotate it. I've, like, very rarely annotate books, but I really want to like annotate this one because it is one of my favorite books. And finally from Nicole from Bon Bon Reads, she got me Verity by Colleen Hoover. I've never read a Colleen Hoover book before, but I have a lot of friends who really enjoy her writing, so I think we are going to buddy read this sometime soon. I'm very excited to read this. Okay, so I think those are all my birthday books. I really hope I didn't forget someone. Um, it's been a hot second, but let's Let's get into my used books. This is in no particular order. At this point, they've all been so mixed up that I don't even, I can't even really tell you where I got them from exactly, but they're all from like local used bookstores near me. So first I got One to Watch by Katie Stamen London, which um, I believe is a, like she's the first plus size bachelorette, which is like super fun and like, <laughs> fictional because I don't know if that will ever happen but like I'd love to see it please bachelorette get it together also would love to see some like queer bachelorette that'd be a lot of fun I got the house of impossible beauties by Joseph Kassara this one takes place during like the AIDS epidemic in New York in 1980s um, at a, a drag house, I believe. The perfect book to make me less sad. I don't know what I was thinking with that one, but it sounds fascinating. Um, and just, again, the cover. I'm not saying a lot of these were cover buys, but a lot of them were cover buys, and I have no shame about that. I then got Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. I did a reading vlog recently where I read this one, so be sure to check that out. But this, the, it's a good time, but it's a pandemic book a little too realistic at times. I got Tith by Holly Black. I bought this because I realized I keep on saying Holly Black is one of my favorite authors, but I've only really read the Cruel Prince series, so um, I should probably read some other books by her. Also, this one is so tiny. I, I don't know anything about it. I think, I'm pretty sure there's fae involved. Yeah, there's definitely, there's definitely fairies involved, so yeah, good times. I then got the three books in the Dragon Riders of Pern series by Anne, McCa Anne McCaffrey. So this is Dragon Flight, Dragon Quest, and The White Dragon. I don't know if there's more books in this series. I don't really know too much about these books, except for the fact that the lady, the old lady who works at the used bookstore that I went to, um, was like, you should read these. And I said, I trust you and your opinion. So that's what I did. From the same used bookstore, I got Outlander and the second book in the Outlander series, Dragonfly in Amber. 
Uh, I watched the first season of Outlander. It was a good time, and the same old lady was like, oh yeah, the books are so much better than the show, so uh, I gotta check these out and see, see if she's telling the truth. I trust her, though. I trust old ladies in bookstores because that is who I want to be in the future. Next up is Bright Young Things by Anna Godsperson. Godsperson. It takes place in the 1920s, and I'm pretty sure some, like, murder is involved. The main character's name is Cordelia. Letty and Cordelia. I love the name Cordelia. So some of these were very much impulse buys. It was two dollars. Are you gonna blame me for that? Like, come on. I got Enchante by Gita Trillis, Um, and this takes place during the French Revolution. A French Revolution? Oh, smallpox are involved. Yes. French Revolution, and I believe it's like magical historical fiction. So like, again, good time. Sounds like all the type of things I like in a book. I got Jacoby by William Ritter. Writer? Again, don't really know anything about this book, but it was a dollar. I feel like that's the theme of most of these is it's a dollar. Again, historical fiction. I don't normally read historical fiction written by men though, so that'll be a good time. I just don't trust men. I got Going Bovine. I think I got this one a little while ago. Genuinely don't know when I got this, but um, I'm pretty sure I was sad when I bought it. So that is the theme of this haul is I was sad when I bought these books. Um, this is the a book. This is a book written by Libba Bray and I read it when I was in high school and I believe it involves a talking gnome. I remember it being wild. Can't wait to reread this at some point. I got A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. I like V.E. Schwab's writing um, and I've heard good things about this series. Actually, I've heard mixed things about this series, but I've heard good things also. I don't know. I always am like, oh, I've heard mixed things and people are like, really? I feel like people really love this book. And I'm like, I hear some people don't like it. I hear some people, I'm gonna read it and form my own opinion. That's what's gonna happen with this but can't wait. Speaking of V.E. Schwab, I got Our Dark Duet and This Savage Song. Um, this is the first one in the book. This Savage Song, Our Dark Duet. I've read these in the past and I loved them so much. It's so good. I, mm, I might start crying if I think about these too much. Why do I get books that I know are going to make me cry when I'm sad? Again, they were a dollar. Actually, these were three dollars. Who? That's a steep price. I really like these covers. They also came out with new covers that I feel mixed things about. So when I saw these, I was like, ooh, I'm gonna get the original ones because I still don't know how I feel about the new covers. I don't know. If you guys have seen the new covers, well, what are your opinions on that? I'm curious to know. I got Foundling by DM Cornish. Do I know what this is about? I'm assuming it's about a foundling. Yep, still, I still cannot tell you what this is about even after reading the back cover. So that's a fun time. I got Anxious People and Bear Town by Frederick Bachman. Um, there were like a ton of Frederick Bachman books at this used bookstore that I went to. I feel like someone cleared out all of their Frederick Bachman, which is interesting because I've heard nothing but good things about these two books. So I'm excited to finally read them. I, I heard this one will make me cry. I heard this one might make me cry. I don't know. Sounds like a good time. I Do y'all like crying when you're sad? What, what's everyone's opinion on watching sad movies and reading sad things when you're when you yourself are sad? Like is that a yay or a nay? I got Sanctuary by Karen Licks. It's a sci-fi. Don't know anything about it. All it says is it is time. It has come. The harvest has begun. Terrifying. I got Mr. Pumbra's 24-hour bookstore, a novel by Robin Sloan. Listen, all I read was 24-hour bookstore and I thought that sounds like my ideal kind of place because I can't tell you how many times I've finished a book at 1 a.m. and I'm like, I need the sequel right now. So a 24-hour bookstore sounds amazing. Finally, I got Starflight by Melissa Landers, another sci-fi. I think I bought these two sci-fis at the same time because I was like, I need to start reading more sci-fi because I always enjoy sci-fi when I do read it, but for some reason it's not the first thing that I pick up. I got three books by Sarah McLean. I have Brazen and the Beast, Daring and the Duke, and The Rogue Not Taken. I really enjoyed reading Sarah McLean's romance books last month and I found these at a used bookstore so I thought why not buy them and have them in my collection. Also I'm like low-key obsessed with this one. This one and 
There's another one that I'm trying to find used because um, I don't really want to pay full price for books I've already read. Most of the time, if I'm buying a book I've already read, I only buy it if I can find it at a used bookstore. So this one and there's another one by her that I'm like low-key, high-key obsessed with. Lastly, I do have a couple of the books that I did buy full price. Firstly, I bought three copies. <laughs> I bought three copies of Rule of Wolves by Leigh Bardugo. The, this one, so they're all three different editions. I will say that. This is the Illumicrate edition. If anyone has the Illumicrate edition of King of Scars, I'm willing to buy it off of you. I will um, take that, please. I really want the Illumicrate edition of King of Scars. Please, please, please. Anyway, Illumicrate edition. And then this is just like the normal edition. I just took off the dust jacket because um, I think the cover is, the naked cover is just so pretty. And then I got the Barnes and Noble edition. There's very little difference between this one and the regular edition, but the main reason why I got this is because I forgot that I ordered, I pre-ordered the regular edition. And then on the day it was released, I was like, I need this in my hands the moment it's released. So I went to Barnes and Noble and bought this. And then like two days later, I got the regular edition in the mail because I forgot that I ordered it. So um, we're just rolling with it. When I went to Barnes and Noble and got that edition of Roll of Wolves, I got two other books. I got we Free the Stars by Hafsa Faisal. This is the sequel to We Hunt the Flames, a book that I just really loved. It just, ugh, it's so beautifully written. I'm probably gonna have to reread it because I don't remember exactly what happened and I kind of want to reread it before I read the sequel. And I got Lost in the Neverwoods by Aidan Thomas because I loved Cemetery Boys so much, so much, that I needed to get their next book. So I did. So there's definitely a few more books that I think were like pre-orders, things like that, but those weren't necessarily books that I bought when I was sad, so I'm not going to include them in this haul. Is this a weird type of haul? Probably. I'm so sorry. This is so... We're not going to go too in-depth about what this means. Please don't interpret this in any sort of way. Anyway, um, what what's the message of this video? The message of this video is don't give in to consumerism, but also, if you get sad, use bookstores. They're, they're a fun place to go. You never know what you might find. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit subscribe. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and until next time, bye!